Chandler. Uh, no, I'll be right there. So what do you think? Let's say she's dead. Brilliant deduction, rookie. It's your turn. Mm -mm, I did it last time. No, I did it the last time. Remember the worms? I remember the worms. No tongue. It's her boy. My gift. Thanks. Wait, hold it, hold it. Freeze, freeze. What is it? I don't know. Can you give me a bag? Yeah. So I'm interviewing this guy, right? He's been very upset about his mother's disappearance. He's going on and on about how much he misses her. Now, the whole time, he's playing darts. I mean, he's pounding these darts into the board like a son of a bitch. So I ask him, I says, uh, hey, can I see a picture of your mother? He goes off to get me one. So I snag one of the darts, just a hunch, right? I give it to forensics. They find minute traces of blood on the handle. We arrest the guy. He breaks down. Turns out he's been using his mother's severed head as target practice, though, huh? How about that? Hey, glad you can make it. Hope we didn't interrupt your busy schedule. Reed, run the serial killer apprehension program. Ready? Go! Currently, we've got 38 cases working. Boise, Idaho, 1988. Irving, Texas, 1992. These two plus three more. Tim Cartwright is a perp. He got sentenced to death yesterday at 3.15. Anything else? Isn't there always? Port Everglades Strangler. He's been pinpointed. And they're moving in right about now. 
And the silencer hit again this morning. The silencer? Hey, all the good names are taken. You find anything? We may have found something, sir. We'll let you know. Yeah, you do that. All right, guys, let's get out there and save some lives. Red team, my office, now. Bide your time, kid. I want some action, Steph. I'm sick of IDing dead bodies and doing research all the time. But I always get the paperwork. Copy that. I'll check it out. How did you know to call us? I remember this old APB and an albino light guy, so uh, we took a quick set of prints and boom, he came up. Thanks. Look at his eye. That's our guy. Guess we can close some cases today. Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna take a look around. Oh, come on. Tick tock, tick tock. Look, I don't plan on being stuck in Hicksville any longer than I have to. What's a rush, city girl? City girl has a hot date, and she plans on keeping it. I got a job to do. Give me a few minutes. Thanks. A piece of threat does not equal a murder. Steph, he was tied to the steering wheel, okay? And the threat is wasn't normal. Somebody sent him off the bridge. Yeah, well, that piece of crap killed eight women. If someone did kill him, then we should give them a friggin' medal. He was murdered. Believe it or not, there's a whole world of people out there who don't kill other people. Where, where people have candlelit dinners, maybe a little sex. They have fun.
Can you finish that report on your own? When you got some primping to do? Hmm. As a matter of fact, yes. All right. Thank you. Be careful, huh? Jason, my dates always go off well. If they try anything I don't like, the cuffs come out. And if they try something that you do like? The cuffs still come out. <laughs> Dinner, sex, fun. No, no, I think I'll take door number two. Serial killers. Killer. No kills for the last two cycles. Why? Half moon killer. But none for the last eight months. Why? missing serial killers in the last 18 months. It's impossible. <laughs> Two died of accidents, and six seem to have just stopped killing. Stop? They don't just stop. It's not in their pathology. Why would they? You know, in class, all this stuff seems so distant. What makes a serial killer? The execution, the method, the choice. The choice. They choose. They see something, um, panty lines, blonde hair, whatever. They see it, and they want to control it, to own it. Then they recreate their fantasy, usually getting more and more violent. And they take trophies of their kills. But you know this as well as I do, Jason. The FBI and I didn't recruit you for your debonair sense of style. <laughs> What's up? It's just one of the accidents was a little suspect. And I would like to take a look at another one. Motel room suicide? Well, then I need all the info. Pictures, reports, the whole deal. Always the prepared student. Always looking to impress the best professor. And? <sighs> and the greatest field agent of all time. Until I came along, of course. Wise ass. Hey, am I getting paid for this? Usual. Yeah. 
You ever get sick of these guys? I did. Day one at the academy years ago. <laughs> but somebody needs to catch them. And obviously now I can't. But with the help of this old Betty, I can learn everything about them. And you can catch them. There you go. Shot himself, right? Suicide? Yeah. So? Well, remember what I taught you. Don't look at everything as a whole. Step back and see the individual pieces. Zoom into the gun. Forty-five. One of the most powerful handguns made. Your point? Well, the recoil from that gun would send his arm back. There's no way he could still have it in his hand. Somebody killed this guy, Randall. And the wild-eyed man, and maybe six others. But anyway, ah, uh, Francis came in. Yeah. Stuff under her fingernails, dried plant matter. The lady slipper orchid, to be precise. Here it is. It doesn't grow anywhere nearby. It is only one place in town that sells it. Let's go buy some flowers. There you go. Pretty? Was being the operative word. Remember that guy yesterday? Yes, Jason. Actually, yesterday is still pretty clear to me. What if he was murdered? What if there was someone out there killing serial killers? A serial serial killer? No. Just like that, no? Well, first of all, he wouldn't be a serial serial killer, okay? Because that's redundant. He would be a serial killer. Killer. Okay, whatever. I'm asking you a serious question. Well, I would say more power to him, okay? More her. Steph, I'm not joking. You actually believe this, don't you? I mean, you actually do. Yes. Okay. You convince Haywood. You convince me. Now, is there anything else? And fine. And it's your turn. You know, I don't understand why I get the ones with no tongues and you get to buy flowers. It's not fair. you? Yeah, uh, I need some flowers. Any particular occasion? Um, it's an apology. An apology? Those seem to be some of our best sellers. Trust me? Sure. You Mr. Keller? The one and only. Here, 
These have I'm sorry written all over them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here you go. I'll see you next time. Are we overcome by emotion? I'm a sensitive guy. I gotta keep him clean. Find something? Probably not, but I'm gonna have to check the prints anyways. You want me to believe that there's someone out there killing serial killers? Yes, sir. A serial killer killer. It's a classic organized personality. He chooses his victims based on certain criteria, and then he hunts them down. Well, how does he find them? That I don't know. But what I do know is that we have two dubious accidents and six very unlikely disappearances. Disappearances? We have six serial killers who've stopped killing. Their MOs haven't shown up anywhere. Proof? I found this in a cut on Wild Eye's wrist. And what that is is a dissolvable surgical suture that didn't dissolve. What I think happened was that he was murdered, tied to the steering wheel, and then sent over the ledge. Whoever did it wanted it to appear like it was an accident. Also, in the motel room suicide case, the deceased was found with a 45 caliber still in his hand. So? Well, the force from that shot would have knocked that gun halfway across the room. Agent Chandler, tell me exactly what is it you want me to do? I want you to respect my hunch and let me run with this. <laughs> God damn. I don't know whether to slap you on your back or upside the head. Sir? Oh, this is good. Crazy, but good. Thank you, sir. I'll tell you what. You and Dobson come over to Red Team on a trial basis. Work with the big boys. <laughs> We'd like that very much, sir. They lose the search sheet. The name is Haywood. Use it. Upload everything you've got on this serial killer killer. I'll review it and let you know how to proceed. Thank you. Haywood? Now get out of here. I got work to do. Serial killer, killer. God damn. Killer, huh? Figures. What? Our pal, the florist. Yeah. Prince didn't match his name. His real name is J.B. Gaines. And? And he used to work for a home alarm company. Did two years for breaking and entering into the houses that he wired. Really? And that's not all. Chandler. Dobson. Let's go. We're getting called in from the miners for the night. You serious? I'm serious. Time to play with the big boys. That's right. This is what we got. Freddie Whiteside, six killings, four states, four stabbings, two victims battered to death. My sources tell me that he's at his girlfriend's house. Oh, good, his girlfriend. But they have a good time together. Questions? Let's go, let's go, hot dog.
me, baby. Drop the gun, Freddy. Just relax. Right. Easy, buddy. Drop the gun. Right. Drop the gun. Don't make it worse for you. Hey, boy! Definitely dead. You did the right thing. I want to show you something. Patty? You see her? Her face? A Freddy Whiteside loved this woman. Just think how he treated the others. Jason, we do what has to be done. I want you on Red Team on a permanent basis. We can use a man like you. Just you. It would be an honor, sir. Welcome aboard, son. Welcome aboard. Just a minute. Who is it? I let that guy get over on me. We all make mistakes. I don't. I talked to Haywood. And? He wants me to join the red team. Jason, that's fantastic. Oh. You. He wants you to join. I mean, I fucked up today. Oh, come on, Steph. Just shut up. Okay. I don't have enough room in this apartment for you and your sympathy. It's okay. What do we do now? We? <laughs> I think as of right now, we're not partners anymore, are we? I guess not. <sighs> well, the least you can do is ask a girl for dinner. Would you like to go out to dinner? When? Tomorrow night. I think I might be free.
I need some help. Me too. Six letter word for the metal ball suspended in a bell. Now. Six letter word for not loquacious. Uh, I think I can fit you in. What do you need? Juvenile files on a JB Gaines. G A I N E S. Locked? Not for long, my friend. Why here? Why not the office? Well, not everyone is so adept at breaking into encrypted government files. <laughs> Voila. It's all yours. Nice guy. Let's see. History of abuse. Detective Priest at 13. Went to Juvie at St. Elizabeth's. Can we get into the St. Elizabeth records? Uh, let's see. Oh, no. Lost in a fire in 1980. Never put on disc. Shit. Who is this guy? You ever hear the silencer? So he was here at St. Elizabeth's. Oh, yes, Mr. Gaines was here. He spent four years in our company. And? And what, Dick? He was borderline. They only put him here after his mother admitted that she couldn't take care of him. And that altercation with the priest. And, um, what, what kind of disposition did he have? Was he timid? Was he outgoing? No, he kept to himself. He had a place for everything, and everything in its place. Obsessive compulsive. Obsessive compulsive, huh? Yeah. Did the other kids accept him? They terrorized him. It was horrible. And then there were the cats. The cats? He was obsessed with these cats that ran wild on the property. One day, they all just disappeared. We kept finding them for years after that, dead and wrapped in flowers. Enforcement my whole life. No. No, actually, uh, my family used to be caretakers in a vineyard in Napa. Wine people. Uh, poor people. <laughs> <laughs> so, what'd you decide to break the cycle? Go for the government paycheck? I studied criminology in college. And that's where I met Randall. And then uh, I got in the bureau off his recommendation. That was that. Shall we go? No dessert? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm sure I want to do this. Chandler here. Yeah, he would. I got it. 
I'll be right there. I gotta... Bye. One thing, this girl's going to bed. You're torturing me, you know that. If you get back before dawn, let yourself in. Okay, hey guys, listen up. This is what we got. Walter Rinsworth, 37, pedophile. Linked to 13 disappearances in three states. 18 hours ago, a 10-year-old drops out of sight. It's two miles from Rinsworth's house. The locals talk to Rinsworth? Sure. But he played dumb. They got no grounds to support. This is what's our jurisdiction. How can we just... You on the team? Yes, sir. You got questions? No, sir. somewhere. Back to get you, okay? Bastard. We tried to cuff him, but he fell off the bridge. Ben. Have you ever captured a serial killer? Huh? No. Exactly. 
Let's get that little boy. Take him home. Gone a long time. Everything okay? It was strange. Did you get your guy? Yeah. That was weird. He's dead. You stopped a serial killer from killing again. Steph. But nothing, okay? Well, you saved innocent lives. Cubanos can't beat them. They're illegal. Technically. Technically? So, how are you? I'm fine. I was looking for you earlier. I've been real busy. Well, I thought you'd like to know that that little boy has been reunited with his parents. That's great. That guy almost got Reed. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, we stopped him. Luckily. Red team, we, uh, we look out for each other. So, what are you working on? Gains. The silencer. Uh, what do you got? It seems to fit the profile that behavioral sciences cooked up. Childhood abuse, mutilation of animals. I've seen your report, but you got nothing on him. I don't have a goddamn thing on him. What's his pattern? Kill every three months. Last one was his fourth. You think he's ripe for a visit? I don't know. You don't trust your hunch? 
I think that I would like to start with a tale before I jump to any conclusions. Done. You're excused, Agent Chandler. Remember my mark? A serial killer killer? I found him. Who? Haywood. Oh, shit. Randall, last night I saw a red team throw a man off a bridge. Self-defense. No way. He was totally defenseless. Look, I worked with Haywood for 22 years. If it wasn't for him, forget this wheelchair, I'd be dead. We both know that those accidents were not accidents. Since then, two more missing serial killers have turned up dead. Both of them were on Haywood's beat. Four more missing serial killers have just decided to stop killing. Now, you're the one who always taught me. Serial killers do not just decide to stop killing. It's not enough pathology. And today, he would ask me if I wanted to pay a little visit to J.B. Gaines. But, no, but nothing. He's using me to get to Gaines. Red Team is not justice, Red. These guys are nothing more than an execution squad. This is unbelievable. Jason, you've got to be careful. I know. Somehow, I've got to get to Director Wexler. Not yet. We need hard evidence or he would have crushed us. I'll hack into their system and get it. Meanwhile, You've got to play along. Pretend you're still with them. Because if they find out you're not, you're dead. Jason, I do hope you like the flowers. They're lovely, aren't they? The way they open up to the light and just breathe like women. They can be had, you know. They can all be had. See you soon. Love your special friend. Twelve hours, fourteen minutes of activation. No intruders. Should have called first. I didn't know it was you. Chinese? I'm not really in the mood right now. Come on. It's only uh 115 in the morning. I just got a nice little present from my friend Gaines. Ladies slip out orchids from your favorite florist. <laughs> Sweet guy. Jason, what's going on? Are you trying to tell me that the head of the serial killer apprehension team and his elite agents are personally responsible for at least nine murders of, of suspected serial killers? I don't know what to say. I mean, come on, that's crazy. Can't be true. No, I know it's crazy, but it's true. Does anyone else know this? Randall's helping gather the evidence. And he believes this? Yes. I still don't believe it. Last night, Haywood, Reed, Warshawski, and Garcia had this guy on top of this bridge. 
four elite FBI agents, right? Oh, Could have yeah. easily apprehended them, but you know what they decided to do instead? What? Throw them off. What? They murdered him, Stephanie. The FBI murdered him. We murdered him. Can you prove it? Yeah. I told you we'd meet again soon. I'm at 225 North Ridgedale with a very quiet girl. Can you hear her scream? Love your special friend.
All right, so what's going on? He shot. I shot back. I thought it was games. But it wasn't. It was a setup. The guy was bound and gagged. What are you going to do? I'm going to keep gathering evidence on Red Team and try and turn him in. There's nothing else I can do. No trace of gains. No credit card receipts, ATM withdrawals, nothing electronic traceable in the last uh, 72 hours. Can you get me into Red Team's computer? You locked out? Not a problem. Let's see what I can do. Here we are. I'm in. File erased. They're on to you. What's, what's that? They're tracing me. Get out, Randall. I'm trying. I don't know if I can get out in time. Randall, they can't find me here. Come on, Randall, hurry. I'm trying. Almost. Come on. Almost, almost. Randall, hurry. Randall! I'm trying. Almost. And we're out. They trace you? No way. I hope. Stephanie, I'm going after Red Team. You gonna back me up? We start at the top, okay? You bring Director Wexler some preliminary evidence, and you keep him abreast. Makes sense to me. You can have that arranged? Absolutely. I'm nervous. Dobson. Sir. This is Agent Chandler. Agent Chandler. Dobson briefed me. Good work. Give my full support. Thank you, sir. You and Dobson stay under cover. Should keep me apprised. If we're to see how deep this goes, it, it, it's imperative that you say nothing to anyone. Yes, sir. Understood? The evidence. Thank you. Randall Brooks is helping you? Yes, sir. Good. I'll be in touch. Yeah! 
Good evening, Jason. done. The men we kill don't deserve to live. Every one of them dead is innocent lives saved. Yeah, not to mention millions of tax dollars. No, no, no. I meant why me? Well, you were gonna talk, Jason. We can't have that. Let's go. What are you doing here? Give me your keys, remember? What happened? Well, I went home. I wanted to find Warshavsky and Garcia waiting in my place. What? Red Team is trying to kill me, Steph. All right, uh, what can I do to help you? You gotta call Wexler. Now! deal. He's on his way. Thanks. Come in. What do you think you're doing till then? Um, probably try not to get killed. Yeah. What are you doing? anything. Sorry to spoil the party. Took you long enough. Jason, I've been trying to tell you. These are the guys with the white hats. You joined the wrong team. Stephanie's been with the Red Team for quite some years. Although her work with us has been a little more circumspect. Now get up. We got a date with a friend of yours. Can't hold your liquor? Jason, I want to thank you for leading me to another serial killer. You two know each other? Now what? Well, let's see. You've been following Mr. Gaines for quite some time, and then you've cornered him, started fighting them, killing each other. 
and this place goes up in flames. One dead serial killer, and one dead serial killer killer. It's a nice plan. Don't. I'm sorry it had to be this way, but you made the wrong choice. I tried to stop you. I tried to show you the right way. No regrets? No. No regrets. You won't be needing this. <sighs> Sorry I can't do this myself. Friends have ensured our demise. I've always been a true believer in fate, Mr. Chandler. I've always liked to choose my own. Don't try anything. your boss and get my watch back. Son of a bitch takes trophies. Go, get down that hole. Hello. You're rather attractive, aren't you? Your complexion's lovely. You're supposed to be dead. I've been dead since I was 13. Hey, it's gonna be here any minute. You know what I could do to you in a minute? Stuff. Jason. Don't worry, he's cuffed to the chair. I saw Randall. Murder anyone else lately? 
that he'd like my new partner. See, things aren't always what they seem, you know? You think you're proving something, huh? You think you're striking a big blow for justice in America? Actually, yeah. Yeah, I do. For who? Huh, Jason, for who? For some lawyer who plea bargains a murder to a misdemeanor? Or, or what about the rapist who gets out because the cop's warrant expired at midnight? Or, or the taxpayers who provide three meals a day and cable for killers? Huh? Now you tell me, Jason, for who? I do it because it's the law. Or do you even remember what that is? Innocent until proven guilty. Does that ring a bell to you at all? What about the one time that you're wrong, Steph? What about the one time you killed that innocent man whose life would have been saved by a trial? By justice? Red Team's gonna eat you alive and chew on your bones. Don't you get it? They're serial killers. Yeah. They torture people. They kill them. And they enjoy it. Now I wonder what that's like. To be the judge, the jury, and the executioner. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna get on the phone. And you're gonna call Haywood. You're gonna tell him I have you and you're gonna have him meet me at my house. You understand? Do it. Call now. you. We're expecting company. So? You're uncuffing me. Why? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And why should I help you? Because they're coming for the both of us. When we get done, I got a nice little blonde present waiting for you. Move. Move. you didn't think so drop it I got him south side of the house that's day check where is she it's inside You're having a party without me? You better not have killed him. I am low like you told me. Besides, I don't care much for a man. Yeah, I know. Maybe I'll make an exception. Then maybe not. Is he gonna die? Maybe. Not to kill your friend in there. You'd kill him anyways. That's right, but now I'm really gonna take my time. 
This can all end, Haywood. You can turn yourself in. For what? For doing my job? You see what these people do? There isn't anyone on this planet that's gonna put me away, not one. And no one's ever gonna know. It's over, hey, what? Let's let the boys play. You and I need a little quiet time. And I thought you had the heart of a hunter, but no. You're just a bureau of fucking crap. A guest jockey, and now I'm gonna have to fucking kill you. Sorry, this is going to be so quick. I'm usually much more considerate. Keys? You talk so much, but I have a little remedy for that. Feel the cold steel against your skin. Knife. You said I could have her! You promised! I lied. Then it looks like it's gonna be two for one! Or none at all. Down, Jason. You're going down hard. No regrets, Stephanie. Remember? No regrets. To Wexler. I'm sorry you're leaving us. Yeah. 
You were a good agent, Chandler. Thank you, sir. You did what had to be done.